welcome to day one of the captain's blog and I'm calling the Southern Crusader because we're taking the Southern Rivers for a change, a short break, four nights aboard Song of Freedom that I've hired from Freedom Boating Holidays based in Thorpe near Norwich. Uh, we've just recently set off and we've just uh, behind us come underneath the Postwood Viaduct. So to give you an idea of where we are, we'll be heading possibly to Rockland Stave uh, for this evening. Today, as always, his first takeover day is not the, the biggest of the cruises, but hopefully we'll be covering most of the Southern Rivers. Uh, we'll be going landing on tomorrow, going to Alton Broad. Uh, that's uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday. And Bank Holiday Monday, we'll be taking in the delights of Beckles. We've uh, phoned ahead and booked at both yacht stations and mooring. Uh, then after Beckles we'll stake back up again and we'll be heading towards Loddon. Um, maybe spend Monday evening at Loddon. Tuesday evening is going to be spent at uh, Surlingham Ferry and we've booked a mooring and a table there. So quite planned. The uh, difference for me is normally when I've come down on the Southern Rivers it's from the north. Um, so you come down for two, three days and then head back up towards the north. Uh, whereas of course this time we'll be completely on the southern rivers and I'm sure that if I was on the southern, oh, sorry, on the northern rivers at the moment Easter weekend, we would be very very busy Well, let me tell you, down on the southern rivers so far the only boats I've seen have been private cruisers and uh, things are looking nice and spacious the boat is Song of Freedom, it's uh, an ex-Aston cruiser built by Aston Boats. I wonder if it was originally out there, Beckles or Lodden Bates. And um, although she's an old girl, she's got a lot of character to her, a lot of nice warm wooden tones inside. But complementary with modern you know, carpeting and upholstery. The steering is old fashioned but very smooth and very easy. There's a trusty BMC 1500 under the cabin here and for a compact boat 30 foot long and just over 11 foot wide it's got a lot of space in it there's a centre cockpit so although it's not the best of Easter weekends uh, as far as the weather is but when is it usually um, you can have the canopy back as I've done here put the jacket on and enjoy some outdoors so I'll be updating you as and when I'm not alone this time I'm with my father and um, we're just taking a nice easy cruise, as I said earlier, probably up to Rockland Stave and maybe go to the new inn for this evening. Until more happens, more as it happens. So we're not far past uh, Golden Pond, the pub, and Brundle, the Brundle Bay Marina. And uh, I should point out, by the way, that for the last week I've had a horrible cold. And I still have the remnants of it horrible throw at my nose, so if I sound not as I usually do, you know why, just to let you know. Uh, and no, I haven't taken that green grocery, I'm just wearing these uh, because it is a little chilly, um, holding the wheel and so on. And it also protects your hands well, whilst giving you sort of the ability to uh, hold on to ropes and feel with your fingers and stuff. Anyway. I would love to show you more and stuff, but uh, every now and again the breeze does get up a lot and it makes talking to the camera up there a little bit more tricky. But, uh, nonetheless, one of these things that you see now the wind's getting up again. So uh, it will be one of those annoying vlogs with lots of wind noise on the microphones. I've also still got to find somewhere where I can put the camera uh, to stick it somewhere. Um, so I'll figure that out. Tomorrow is going to be a horrible day as far as the weather goes, so uh, I doubt we're going to get much pretty footage, uh, but it will be a long cruising day tomorrow. So I'll just show you what I'm seeing. So as you can see here we're on the River Yare and um, it's a lot wider than perhaps the rivers that some of you who go on the northern rivers would be used to. But as you also see, this part of the Southern Rivers, there's no reeds. There's wide open landscape and trees and greenery. It's 
So the southern rivers are not all boring. What you do have to take account of though obviously is the distances between two places are longer on the southern rivers. For example on the northern rivers, you know, Roxham to let's say for example Horning, just about an hour's cruise. But uh, on the southern rivers you have to sort of plan a little bit more um, as far as not wanting to get too caught out. So I apologise for the way I sound, as I said earlier, uh, block nose and so on, you don't want to know all the details, but uh, I know that watching uh, this back won't sound as good. Um, also the pain in the arse with the wind on the microphones, every time I pick up the camera to go and speak, but I hope you can sort of make out uh, what I'm saying here. So um, we are still heading for Rockland St Mary. I have my doubts if there be space at the stave. If there isn't, then our uh, fallback plan is the uh, Boochamp. Is it the Boochamp? The Beechamp? Beechamp? Chomp? There's a pub. It's got some moorings. So we just turned off the main river and we're heading up Fleet Dyke, which shouldn't be confused with the Fleet Dyke off of the River Bure. This is Fleet Dyke off of the River Yare that heads to the beautiful, peaceful Rockland Broad. Um, and we'll be heading to Rockland Stave. And it is an absolutely lovely sort of the difference between the width of the air and the wind and you know the private cruisers churning up the water and so on and so forth and then turning off and coming up here. And just one of the things about the southern rivers what I've noticed you really do need your wits about you uh, both you know keep a look out for your port your starboard and ahead but more particularly as well you're astern because of these private not all, but a lot of them, sports cruisers will come up fairly quickly behind you. Treating the five or six mile an hour speed limit as more an advisory for them. You know, as if to say, I've spent a great deal of money for this boat. This is a performance boat. Six mile an hour just doesn't cut it for me. I've got my engines to think of. I don't want my bores to be glazed too quickly. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. But uh, when they come up behind you and then scoot off into the distance, uh, it is a little bit disconcerting.
So as you can see we've made it here to Rockland St Mary's Stave and it's very peaceful here and uh, there's just three other boats that are joining us uh, presently. So there is a pub just here called the New Inn which apparently does very nice food. There's an electric post over there should you require shore power for your boat. And what a lovely quiet mooring off a lovely quiet peaceful broad. Now imagine on Easter weekend thinking oh I'll just nip down and moor at Ramworth and have so much space to choose from. So that's day one pretty much. Um, I'm not feeling too good. Uh, the boat's really actually uh, warm and comfortable. We'll do the usual you know talk through the boat and all the rest of it at some stage but for right now I'm gonna have a drink and uh, do some unpacking and um, then we'll do the proper sort of start of the holiday we can do tomorrow for day two. So if you have been, thanks for watching.